G'day, my name's John. I'm an old guy doing reviews, just because I can. I'm doing this because um, I keep seeing, looking for reviews and I keep getting people unboxing stuff. I'm thinking, that's great, but it doesn't really tell me much about what's going on. Like, I can pull stuff out of a box. One of the things I was looking for was reviews on the um, Lanzi MT-11. Look, I'm a, a uh, Micro Four Thirds shooter. I was trying to work out how it would go with uh, one of them on it, and it looks to me like it's going to go pretty well. Straightforward, your legs pop out. Uh, full flexibility, you can you know, coil these up as much as you want, I guess. It's got a ball head on it, which is pretty good. I'm quite impressed. So far, the cameras I've used have held up pretty well on that, so nice and flexible. You can take it right down to the the side, either side there for vertical shooting which is pretty handy. It's got a nice little level on there, kind of handy as well if you get your level before you get your camera on, although the camera will probably mess up the level a little bit I think and then I, I think it might be, well if you position your camera right you'll be able to see the level okay. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's got, this one's got the phone holder on it, now I had trouble trying to work out how to open that up. If you just look at that there, like I'm pulling up like that because I'm old and not very bright. You actually pull it out like that and then it goes up. Pop your phone in. That looks pretty good to me. And it's actually pretty solid too. I'm fairly happy with the look of that. Big question is the cameras. So if we just get a, this is a uh, an Olympus uh, EM10 with a um, with a Lumix 3500 to 100 lens on it, which has got a bit of length. So you think that might tip the scale a little bit, but this is the point I wanted to find out about is how it would hold up. You need to tighten that ball up pretty well, and. Look at that, that's holding up quite nicely. One thing that you find though is that when you shoot, you, um, you you need to hold the camera fairly steadily or I reckon it wouldn't be a bad idea to put it on a bit of a delay shoot, uh, you know, click delay, let the little bit of vibration settle down. You could um, you know, strengthen or make it a bit more solid by bending that up a fair bit and that's not getting too much movement, so I'm fairly happy with that. Let's just have a look with a bigger lens on it. So this is a uh, 100 to 300. And we'll just have a look at how this stacks up. And look at that, that's actually holding up pretty well. On quite surprised at how well that, that sits. So again, see that's with the legs curled up so you get some stability. Um, ways that I might want to use this would be if I don't want to take a tripod if I'm going up and to take some photos in the bush, which I don't do very much, but I might. Take that, wrap it around a tree, uh, use that as a tripod or get you down low shots. Um, one thing I was thinking was if we have a, a bit of a family picnic in the bush, I wouldn't mind getting this again, wrapping it around a tree and then doing some time lapse stuff. Um, all in all, I think this is probably pretty decent quality. Got an extra little, I think it's a quarter inch screw in slot there, so if you want to add things to it, you can always do that. You could uh, put something in and stick a, a mic there or something. I'm actually going to use this a little bit with a digital recorder as well, so I can just pop that on there and put it in a safe place. And do some work with that. I'm impressed with the quality. Um, I think it takes these lenses pretty well and it seems pretty stable so so far I would say this is this is pretty good value. I think I paid about 30 Australian dollars for it which might be I don't know, 19, 20 US dollars something like that. Um, so Ulanzi MT11 uh, I'd, I'd recommend it at this stage. Thanks for watching.